Mike here at Fitzgerald Buick GMC in Rockville doing a video walkthrough of this newly arrived 2021 GMC Yukon XL. This one has the SLT trim as you can see. Uh, just based off the front grille alone that one's a Denali and then over there we got the AT4. You do have parking sensors in the front here. Uh, the forward collision alert system right there. You got your little camera right here underneath. I'm going to go around the vehicle real quick show you all the uh, fun stuff about it chrome wheels that's an upgrade right there that was the uh, auto start system you can find on your key fob great for preheating the vehicle um, when you want <clears throat> to hop into a warm car on a cold windy day like today got another camera right there underneath the uh, mirror keyless entry right here you have the running boards um, those are constantly out versus the Denali Denali is gonna have the uh, electronic running boards do have the Bose upgraded sound system which is nice got these mirror fold in buttons um, also very useful and then showed you the, uh, the blind spot monitor um, mirror fold in buttons very useful for those tight parking spaces when you're at Tyson's or Montgomery Mall or wherever you go electronic parking brake auto start start, auto start stop lane keep alert um, parking collision sensors Auto will keep it in uh, two-wheel drive most of the time if the vehicle senses any slippage, kick into four-wheel drive. Um, you do have the uh, tuning modes here, uh, sport, touring, off-road, and trailering. Um, this is for the going to be for your uh, trailering. Uh, it's a manual brake for the trailer, and then this is controlling the electronic brakes. So it's more of like an alert, emergency brake, if anything. Forward collision alert system right there, heated steering wheel. This is the cruise control. Wouldn't be surprised if this one does come with an adaptive cruise control. I'm not sure off the top of my head, so I'd have to look. Push to start right there. Do got wireless charging right here, which is fantastic. Massive console right here. Great for uh, fitting a whole person there. Or a uh, couple of two liters of soda, if you know what I mean. Uh, no more shifter knob on the 2021s pull got the surround vision with this one um, it's the trailer hitch guidance that lets you look directly over the trailer hitch to back it up perfectly let's go back to the 360 view oh. mm -hmm. there we go all right I'm um, not sure off the top of my head this one might come with the alert seat uh, the alert seat will start vibrating if the vehicle is about to collide with anything do have navigation right there Traffic events, um, show on map is my favorite feature. Allows you to see coffee spots nearby, fast food restaurants, fuel. You're gonna need a lot of fuel with a vehicle like this. Unfortunately, it does burn a lot of gas. Uh, let's go back to the home screen here. Climate control. Um, great thing about this is if you have kids and they like to mess with it, you can lock them out using the lock button. Um, but this is the rear and that operates the front and you still have the hard climate controls right here. Now, speaking of, Got seat coolers and seat heaters, two different levels of seat heaters. And again, that's the hard buttons for the um, for the uh, rear climate control there. Uh, you do have AM, FM, and XM radio. Uh, you do have an HD FM radio to really optimize the Bose sound system. Mm, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Wi-Fi hotspot, different users, um, trailering. Once you uh, hook up a smart trailer to this, you'll be able to see a ton of different camera views. Uh, this is the rear media, so you do have um, panels in the back seats there. I'll show you that in a second. And then you can operate the uh, second row uh, using those buttons right there. That's for your uh, trunk adjuster. Uh, let's see here, uh, and that obviously operates the massive panoramic sunroof. Um, makes it feel like you're almost driving a convertible SUV, or a convertible tank in this case, because this thing is just gigantic. Let's go around to the other side of the vehicle here. As you can see, this does have the upgraded wheels. Uh, the Denali right next to it um, just has the flat standard wheels. I like these a little bit more to be honest with you. The chrome, it's it's too shiny for me. Accent stitching which is really pretty. GMC logo everywhere. It's the rear seat media. 
Um, no longer in the ceiling. Got HDMI connection, uh, heated seats for the second row here, and you got a house plug. Okay. Not sure if this one has the hands-free lift gate off the top of my head. Um, if it was nighttime, you would be able to see a logo down here. If it does, got to double check that as well. Like I said, we got this in pretty recently, so I'm not horribly familiar with this vehicle. And we're not keeping our Yukons for very long these days. We are charging sticker price for them, and people are still buying them as quick as we can get them in. As you can see, massive amount of trunk space back here. Um, this is great for your uh, luggage. That way the wheels don't go directly on this little fuzzy part here and, and mess it all up. Got your house plug back here for your uh, backseat passengers. Although I'm not sure who... Maybe your dogs need to charge their phones. I don't know. <laughs> uh, third row does operate electronically using these buttons here. As you can see, it goes up and down using those. Second row, um, they'll go down electronically. They'll kick up electronically, but they won't go back into place electronically. That's something that you got to do by hand. Anyways, my name is Mike. Give me a call, 301-770-3300. Let's schedule your test drive today. These are moving really fast.